So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown and some white, and you can put some black on there um, too if you want. These have really nice bristles and they're great for your trees and your bushes, and this is going to be used for your background, okay? And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. make our own green. Let's just get a small flat brush to make some leaves first. I'm going to make my own green and you can make your own green. You know you can make green with blue, ultramarine blue and yellow and you can add a bit of uh, I'm just trying to think a little bit of red and uh, you can make um, some nice small leaves. We're just going to add a little more foliage, but we're going to add some individual leaves. And we'll need more yellow than we are. Hmm. So this is a way that you can make some leaves by adding more yellow. Make your green and then put some yellow on your brush. Green is kind of underneath it and that way when you put these leaves on you can see them. Alright. Just on a flat brush. Alright. So now I'm going to start adding some foliage. So let's make our own green. Let's just get a small flat brush to make some leaves first. I'm going to make my own green and you can make your own green. You know, you can make green with blue, ultramarine blue and yellow. And you can add a bit of... Uh, I'm just trying to think. A little bit of red. And uh, you can make um, some nice small leaves. We're just going to add a little more foliage, but we're going to add some individual leaves. And we'll need more yellow than we are. Hmm. So this is a way that you can make some leaves by adding more yellow. Make your green and then put some yellow on your brush. Green is kind of underneath it and that way when you put these leaves on you can see them. Alright, just on a flat brush. Alright, now a faster way to do that instead of doing individually, just get a, a bristle brush, push it open in your hand so the bristles open up like that, and dip it into your green and nice dark green, then put white there like that, a lemon, I mean, <laughs> yellow. So you got all, I don't totally mix it, I just kind of throw it all together. And then you can start adding foliage a little faster. See, you're getting basically the same, same technique or the same results, just that it's a little easier, a little faster. You can even add a bit of white if you want to brighten it up a bit more. So it'll stand out. Stand out too much. Won't stand out too much. Not unless you, you want some bright areas. Yes, that's nice like that. See, and pick some little bright areas. We've got to decide where to, the light is, light is coming over this way, so a little darker over here maybe. Alright, so we'll get some good, and then we will get darks and lights. A contrast. More yellow. Good. Just kind of trying to make them Stand out more now. Yellows and greens. 
Now we may have to add some more leaves over those. And do the sides of your canvas if you want. It's a tad bit too light there. So just have a little bit of extra foliage here. And we're going to add some color up top of that too. So down here, this is just our basics for us, just to figure out where we want to put everything. We get some more here. Good. Lots of foliage. If your brush is giving you a hard time, just change it up. So what I'm going to do in front here is I'm going to create foliage so that we can put flowers and things on top of the foliage, right? So we want nice dark foliage, so I'm going to use, you can actually make, I'm going to show you something, I probably already showed you this before, but I'm going to show you it again. I'm clean my brush so I can show you. I'm taking my black, all right, black paint and yellow makes a beautiful dark green more yellow than black see that look at that nice dark green look at that I mean that's a really dark beautiful green look at that and it's a natural looking green it's beautiful so black and yellow tap 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 away and make some nice foliage We'll probably add some color to it and everything. So, yeah, lots of work to do yet. Don't rush. Don't rush. Take your time. You've got a lot more time than I do, you know what I mean? Like you're... You can take this one painting and spend a few days at it. I'm trying to get it done in a couple hours so I can get it out and get it up on YouTube for you guys. So if the longer it takes me, sometimes I fall behind because I'm because I have so many paintings to do. I have over a thousand. I have I'd say about a thousand of them up up there now because I do them three, two to three times a week, right? And Sometimes it takes a while. Like I might put this one up as a two, as an hour painting, but it probably took me four or five hours because I had to probably do other things with it, or or I had to uh, do other things in between too. You know, like get my paints ready and change my brushes, whatever I have to do, you know, that takes takes away the time. And sometimes I will, sometimes I practice before I do it. I didn't practice this one, maybe I should have. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I should have. Sometimes when I use reference photos, then I don't have to practice as much because it's all there in front of me. But if I'm making it up as I go along, and I have to use several different pictures and photos, reference photos and things. I really need to practice it so I can get my composition in place and my focal points and everything where I want to put everything, you know? So that's nice and dark, isn't it? Nice, because that's going to that's gonna bring out your lights. We're going to add some color up here. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. So I'm going to add a little bit of color. I'm just going to take my fan brush. You can take any brush and start adding some little bits of orange and red just to give it a little bit of color, that's all. A little bit of maybe just a, maybe it's a time of year when things are turning pretty colors. See? 
you just take your fan brush, just put in yellow and red. Don't mix it, just let it mix some here. You can use whatever brush works for you, okay? Just thought I'd give the fan brush a try. I'm going to try another brush. Just a flat filbert, a little tiny one. Try whatever brushes you got. Don't be afraid. It is scary, isn't it? <laughs> Especially if you're starting to look nice and then all of a sudden you're looking, you're changing a brush or something and then it doesn't work out. I like the fan brush. It gives much more technique, much more of a nice textured look. Right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to try my I love trying different brushes. I hope you don't mind. So this is the same brush now. Make sure it's nice and clean. Just tap it into your hand so that it spreads open. Just go into the yellow, a little bit of red. That's better. It's faster. Gives a nice texture. Nice. Nice little colors, isn't it? Add a little bit of white to it too, see, to give it a little, see the little highlights are coming out on there? All right, just a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, and that little bit of white will You want to push a little harder, that will give you more thicker ones. But if you just want little tiny ones, just add a little tiny bit of pressure. Just a little tap. Okay. So that's just a little bit of color. And add it wherever you want. Good. So the same brush, we're going to add some more foliage down here. And I'm uh, going to put some nice flowers and things on here. So we're going to lighten up the foliage here with some greens. So you're going to make your yellow and blue to make a green, or use sack green if you want, with a bit of yellow to brighten it up, or some white, or whatever. Well, this is green, and it's a brighter green. And you can decide where you want some foliage like that. Just tap, tap, tap. I'm not touching, I'm not pushing really hard, because I'm leaving the dark, leaving some darks in between those that foliage, okay? I'm just going to have a little bit of grass down here, but I got some foliage here, so keep that. And we got some here. So I'm going to put some flowers up here. Just tapping on a little bit at a time. And you have some down here. We got a bit of work to do yet, because I want to bring out this foliage a bit better. I'm just trying to add where I want it to be. Just trying to get a, a map where I want things to go, okay? That's basically what I'm doing right now, is I'm mapping it out. So I want to see where I want to leave my darks and where I want to add my lighter. It's a foliage. So just map it out. What you're doing is you're, you're deciding where you're leaving your darks, okay? That's basically what you're doing. So you're going to put on your lighter ones here just to get an idea. The 
There's too much mapping there. <laughs> All right. Okay, this should do it. That should do it. So that's giving me an idea where I want things to go. This brush is great because see how it makes the foliage look really nice. Alright, so put a little bit down here, just but leave all that separation of color of uh, darkness except in these pla the places that I put it. That's where I'm gonna put extra foliage and different flowers and different things, okay? So but I want to make sure there's enough darks in between for shadows. That's alright, isn't it? There we go. Now we'll do it. The final touches and we should be done. Take a flat chiseled edge brush and go into your green. Let's get some green going on here. So green. And we want it nice and bright. So I'm going to add a bit of white to it. Not too um don't want it to be too white or anything. More Still want it nice and green. And then I'm going to take that chisel edge and I'm going to make these really nice those. They're nice, aren't they? So just pull up. If you can't see them, add more yellow. Right? Add more yellow. And some white if we got to to keep them because we need to be able to see them. I want you to be able to see them. So on the chisel edge, pull these in like this. See, right on the chiseled edge. Just take it from the center. There's some more here. Right. Keep going into your paint, get more paint, keep getting more paint. That's it. Go on chisel edge. And you can have those in different places. I'm going to put them here and there. Curve them out. I'm going to start from the center and pull them out from the center. Right? Just make something there to give you an idea where they're coming from. Go right on that chiseled edge. I might end up layering them. Okay, doing pretty good there. Now with your bristle brush, hmm, wicked. Now with your bristle brush, your handy dandy bristle brush, that's fantastic for all kinds of good stuff. So make sure you get a bristle. See, look, I'm just putting some color on top like that, and see that will make your flowers, right? So let's see if we can find some place. Now we said we we're going to place them around here. little taps and 
paints. If you need more paint, just go get it. So I didn't have enough. See, I only had it all clumped in one area. So you need to make sure for this, what we're trying to do is to have it on the tops. Okay, so. See, look, they're making the flowers for you, see? The bristle brush is fantastic for flowers. See, it's cute, isn't it? I might add a little bit of white on the top of that just to put a bit of white on it, see? And then I'm going to tap it off so that it sort of mixes with the extra yellow and, you know, the dirty brush. And I'm going to put that on top of there just to brighten it up a little bit more. Okay. Isn't that cute? Might need a bit more. Maybe there's some down here. You know. That's nice. Maybe, maybe, where else? Where else? I don't know. We'll, we'll probably put some... Because we want to make the colors all be harmonized. Harmon Okay, so let's put some, maybe a little bit over here, just to, to bring a little harmony to your painting, just so that it makes sense, so you get some color, you know, because if there's some yellow flowers here, there's probably some yellow over there and there, so that's nice, you might want to put a little green while you got the yellow there, add a little bit of blue to your yellow, that will turn it a bit, that will turn it into a greenish color. And then you can highlight some of these back here. See? And then you can make some nice little foliage down here. See? Right? So now you're highlighting your foliage back here. So while you're using the same... That brush is amazing. Can you see that? Just look at the... the just me. It's doing it for me, right? It's just doing it for me. See? It's doing it for me. I'm tapping into some of my yellow, a little bit of blue, turn that yellow a little bit green. I want it too green. Right? That's all I'm doing. So I got my blue here, yellow over here. Tapped a little bit of blue into my yellow. But I still wanted a really bright. Oh, there you are. Sorry. I zoomed in and forgot. <laughs> So, you know, you got a really bright yellow, but it's uh, a bright green because we want to keep the yellows yellow and the greens green. So, we can add some more. Make sure it's not too yellow because you don't want it to interfere with your, you want to make it look separate from your flowers, right? That it is grass or different kind of foliage. Right? See the darks in behind? That's what brings out your foliage better, see? And I'm not tapping very hard because I still want to keep some of the darks there, all right? So don't uh, just tap in lightly because we don't want to lose the darks. But yet we still want to have some foliage showing, right? There's a little bit in here. And some here. Very gentle. Be gentle. I might add a little bit of white. Keep it bright. Keep it bright, but you know, not interfering with. I'm trying to make it more like these are more like foliage, not the flowers. Now, if you want to add flowers, you certainly can. But I just want to, tr I'm just trying to distinguish things. See? Now. Now we may use a smaller brush to uh, make these more realistic looking. looking. So we got a nice, let's see, let's see, we got some things going on here. Maybe we can add some green over here, darken up my green a little bit more. Just tapping into that yellow spot that I showed you. 
I'm getting a bit more yellow, depends on how green you want it. And probably add a little bit of green here. Brighten it up a little bit there, not much. Just a little bit. See, our acrylics dry. They dry dark. Darker than what you put it on, okay? So if you're wondering why your paint is acting the way it is, that's acrylics for you. So just adding a little bit of highlights here. I'm sorry, a little bit of grass. Still trying to keep my darks. Right. Good. And we will. Don't want that to look like I want to make that look like grass because I don't like the way that it's just got on little balls there. Little right, so I'm just gonna take my fan brush. I'm gonna pull up while the paint is still wet. Pulling up some grassy area there. And also turn it this way too if you want to get some bits of grass going up. Turn your brush. Way you like. All right. Add a little bit of lighter color to give it, so it doesn't look all just green. Just want to give it some colors there. You know, just some little bits of reds and oranges going on there, just to uh, say, oh, there's some colors going on there. I turn it this way also. It's nice, isn't it? So turn your brush this way and this way. Good. So turn your brush this way, add a little bit of color, okay, just add a little bit of color and then flip up onto the green that you did and then turn your brush this way to bring up some more taller grasses. See? Good. That's that much. And now I want to elaborate those and probably put in a few more little things. You know, just some little grasses coming up. We'll also use a liner brush. I don't want to play with that too much there. So let's finish, um, let's put the brushes away and pick another brush. Let's try um, an angular brush to make some leaves. So let's make some leaves right here. Make sure there's not too much water on your brush. I'm guilty of that a few times so far today. So I got green paint and yellow. Well, that was actually my blue. <laughs> with blue turn green, okay? All right, you can put add a bit of red, it's gonna go in there, it's fine. That's okay, and then you can add a little bit of white, brighten up a small bit. But I'm thinking maybe green and maybe a bit of yellow on the edge, you know, something like that. And then we're going to make some leaves. So we'll start at the, the bottom and work our way up. So we'll go. Make kind of a, a round touch, 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 touch. Some are overlapping each other. And just a, I don't know what the name of these leaves and different patches of foliage. I should look it up for you. There's all these leaves on top of each other. Just one big, I guess it would be in a tropical area. Now we're going to lighten those up. 
some yellow and some white to be nice. Just uh, go back over them, that's all, just like that. See? See? Just follow what you already did, but just put that like that. There we go. That's just kind of a. I'm going to put some down here and some over here. That's kind of nice. It's just another patch of leaves. I'm trying to make them so they're not too, they're not too funny. <laughs> so it's not a funny look. Yeah, I don't want to make them funny looking. I want to make them pretty. So just touch. As long as you get the colors on, you're okay. That's not bad. Just picking up a little more yellow, just so I can see them. Good. Now I want to get those, I'm going to layer those a bit more. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to get my handy dandy bristle brush again. <laughs> I'm going to put in, you know, yeah, I think it'll be okay. It's a bit big. You can get a smaller one if you want. This one's size, says size 12. Okay, so I'm going to go right directly into my red. I'm just going to put it on the corner of my brush so I won't have to use the whole brush. Because I want to make smaller flowers, like little red ones right there, little red one right there, little red one right there. Just a few little red flowers, just to corner my brush. A little one peeping out here. Maybe there's one peeping out up here. Maybe there's a couple down here. See, so you only use the corner of your brush, then you're pretty safe. But they're peeping out. Maybe there's another one. I got that one. I missed that. Maybe it's a little bit of an orangey one. A couple. Just on the corner of my brush. I'm trying not to do overdo it. I always overdo it. That's me for you. And probably a little one down here. Hiding away. See? So now you can't overdo it because you only got it on the corner of your brush. Hiding in there and sneaking around. Let's see, maybe there's a couple down here. I don't want too much. I keep saying I don't want too much. I keep putting them on there. Stop! <laughs> Somebody stop me. Okay, so that's that. And all I want to do now is fix these up, highlight these up, and we can call it. I think we can call it finished. Because I don't want to overdo it, right? Because that's kind of pretty the way it is, isn't it? So what I like to do is take my liner brush. I want to take a liner brush this time. I did that with a chiseled edge brush. Now I just want it on top of it. I want to layer it a bit with a liner brush. So whatever kind of liner brush you got that works for you. I find a long ones are easier to control, like a long one like that. I do have some smaller ones, but I find the long ones like that are a little better controlling. So I'm going to try and highlight those better. I'm going to rub it into my yellow. I don't mind getting a bit of red on it. That's okay. And my, I might even put a bit of white in there. See how nice and bright that is? Look. Oh. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> so we got to try and highlight these. Get more going. Try to stay on top of the ones you already did. Don't have to be exactly on top of them now because they can be your, you know, your background ones. Whoops. <laughs> Got a steady hand for this. Make sure you add a bit of water to your brush because that will make it move much better for you. I'm sort of coming from a center. You need some kind of a guide. Okay. 
if you push a little hard, harder, you will get a thicker one. If you keep your hand very lightly, then it will be thinner. So it depends on what you want. I want kind of thin and thick, you know what I mean? Like a variety of different kinds. We can't come out, go back in, okay? Okay. Maybe some hiding over here. Maybe they belong to another one underneath there somewhere. Right? See, once you get the hang of it, you can just boom, 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 boom. I keep going into my paint because sometimes I want to lighten it a little more. So I pick up a little lighter, more lighter colors. Pull back into the center there. This is fun, isn't it? Just do it, you know, just kind of like boom, 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 boom. Don't push too hard. Try not to, because your hand will accidentally push hard. So that will give you the bigger ones then. But always aim for the thinner ones. Then when your hand accidentally goes thicker, at least then you still, you don't mind that because you don't mind because you want some thicker ones. I'm going to have to layer that a little bit more because it doesn't look... Looks like it lost the shape a bit. So I'm putting more almost a white color on top there. That's why we need our dark underpainting so that when we go with the lights on top, it'll help bring the lights out. Right? See, so just keep layering and layering till they thicken up. Put a little lighter ones on top there if you want. Some places. Just go into your white. Just pull out a few. Because your your brush is dirty, so the white's going to end up not being completely white, so you won't get that chalky look. Maybe there's a couple of little ones sticking out here that are brighter. Still got those dark ones there, that's okay. So that doesn't look too bad. There we go. Just layering a little bit of greens in there because I lost some of my greens. So I'm just bringing them in. Just to... You're happy with yours. You don't have to do this. Just kind of bringing in a few extra green ones. That's all. So you can layer greens on top of yellows, on top of whites, whatever you want to do. As long as you get uh, the idea of, of how to make those, then you, uh, then you can them wherever you want, the extra ones in wherever you want, you know.
It's a weird look one, isn't it? Try to get more green in there, maybe to make it look more natural. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not that easy to, uh, to stop. I kind of overdo things and because I, sometimes I just can't get what I'm looking for. So I just keep trying and trying and trying until I end up in a mess. <laughs> but you can't give up. I'm just going to put a few little things here. bits of grass or something going on there. Yeah, I like adding like lighter stuff on top of the darker stuff because it brings it out more, you know? And it brings your eye to that area too. So it helps bring somebody's looking at your painting, they'll be looking where all those lights are. They'll be looking there, then they'll look up there and then look you know, they look everywhere. So you need something for them to look at. I'm just going to add a few little leaves here. I'm just going to touch. Just trying to add a few little just to bring them out a little bit more. The uh, bristle brush did pretty good to bring them out, didn't it? If you get big blobs, put the darks back in and that will help separate the leaves and they'll look, they'll look better. They'll look much better. So you can add little dabs of color here, like just little, as if they're little leaves on top. Your bristle brush should do that for you. You won't have to do it individually, but I just want to see if you could give you different techniques so you can decide what you want to do, okay? I don't want to make all your decisions for you. I just want to say, okay, well, you can do this and you can do that, and then you make a decision. You'll learn better that way, because then you make your own, making up your own paintings, you know what I mean? Like, just use this stuff as a guide. And then you move on to do whatever you want to do. And you, as you, as you paint more, you will get used to what brushes to use and what they do for you. You know, if you think a filbert brush is only to use for, say, flowers, you can do probably a ton of things with it. You know, you can do all kinds of paint. Depends on what you're painting. See. So I can tell you it's great for flowers, it's great for using um, uh, anything that's round. And, uh, but it depends on what you're painting. You have to experiment. Just trying to get that out a little bit more. I don't want it to look like flowers, I'm hoping it'll look more like highlights on the leaves. See? I'm just using my liner brush to bring out a few little highlights on these really nice little foliage I got here. But I wanted to bring a few of them out. See? See how that brought it out a little bit? I don't think I need to do too much more. I don't think. Maybe a couple little flowers or, or some highlights or flowers or something going on here. Here, just what do you think, guys? Do I need to do more? Let's take um, let's 
pretty though. It's not bad, is it? I had some red down there. Look, see how it went so dark. You can't even see it. That's the worst thing about uh, acrylics. But the reds are going dark because, the, see how dark that background is? Right? So the only thing you can do there is add white. Right? Add white and then add the yellow on top of it. I'm sorry, the red. Okay, add a little bits of white there. That's nice. And then I'm only just using what I grabbed a brush. I didn't even think about it while didn't even think about what it was, so I'm just adding some light colors there so that when I put my red back on, it will stay red, stay nice light bright red. So I just put a couple of little some color down there, that's all. And then when that now dries, I'll come back. So I'm just gonna take some more red up here. I got a full, because I want to put it up here a little bit more just to make some color. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with yellow and do the same. See my red, see? See? My yellows. I just want to add some color to the painting. It could be, I don't want to give you the impression that it's fall or it's just colors. Because we got all this going on down here, right? A little bit of color here. I'm just trying to see where the colors go nice. I want to overdo it. I always overdo it. So I shouldn't be teaching to overdo things, but I can't help it. I get so excited. supposed to be teaching you to not overdo it. <laughs> this is how you overdo it. I even get people emailing say, how do I stop overdoing my paintings? Well, just at the end of it, what I'm doing now is I'm just going in with very small details, very, very small, because you can overdo it by adding big blobs of reds and yellows and big blobs of yellows and greens down here, and that's when you're overdo it, okay? You won't overdo it if you do little tiny, little teeny weeny itsy bitsy bits of dabs of color. So you can keep layering these here. If you're not happy with them, you can keep layering them with some yellows your liner brush and see how you can get nice see that so yellow is better than white I tried the white and it looks nice because they're all being layered now so you can do that so just keep going over it with the brightest yellow you have there tip your brush and that gives it a better look to those. See that? Make sure you round them off so that they're curved and they're going every which way. They're going up. Little short ones and coming out from there and they're curved. These nice little details, right? They help. I'm just using yellow. So all those little highlights of yellows and they're really pretty so that's much better there now they were a bit dull there for a while but now they look really nice
Well, thank you for painting along with me. I hope you enjoyed that painting. And if you did enjoy that painting, leave a comment below in the comment section. Let me know what you liked about that painting. What part of that painting did you like? What was your favorite part? And if you have any questions about brushes or paints or anything about the painting itself, just email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com or leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.